So, interesting enough, the last video was very entertaining in my best opinion. It was definitely about cure violence in Jacksonville. It was about changing these streets in Jacksonville. And it was about Protect the City program in Jacksonville. Uh, Protect the City program and changing these streets uh, campaign, those are both my um, initiatives to help cure violence in Jacksonville, let alone other cities um, you know, nationwide, let alone worldwide. Those are my two initiatives. Cure Violence campaign is what this, the uh, city brought in last um, last of summer to help Cure Violence. You know, I, I think the dumb part is since they came in, I think gun violence has gone through the roof <laughs> since they came in, which is the, the, the dumb part about it, but still God bless them and all they do to help try to keep our city safe, you know, and so on and so on. I got I got so many shout outs I've given them in so many songs, so by God's grace, we'll get those those, those songs out and, and we'll see how they are. Uh, how they make change in these streets um and so on and so on because i'm willing, i'm willing to golfers work with anybody such golfers work with everybody um to um you know to get the to get the job done and and absolutely you know help play a part part in you know you know and and again continuously living for something bigger than myself let alone dying for a real cause etc you know because i want people to understand you know this is a big part of what i mean when i say you know you know i am more than a rapper. I am more than a rapper, but I still want to try to glorify Christ name and put everything that I I am in my uh, music, let alone everything that I stand up for in my uh, music. And wow, a violent year in Jacksonville. First Coast News. My God, right as I'm right as I'm making a make, making a response video. Right as I'm making a response video to to, to the cure violence uh, vi video. But this is why I gotta get back to the city to again work with everybody that I gotta work with and see where we can see where, where we can make changes and improvements in our city's infrastructure to truly cure violence in our city and drive down these violent rates because i mean it just like i i've said before with nice high school man uh you know we're we're better we're, we're better than than that in nice high school you know when it comes to you know you know certain things vice versa in the city of jacksonville we're better than gun violence in in jacksonville we're so much better we're so much better and we got to do better you know and so on and so on and you know and, and that's no no offense to all these athletes but I have not seen one athlete come out and come out and and protest against gun violence. If I'm not mistaken, you know, and and that's what I really want to see these professional athlete athletes athletes do. I mean, why can't we? Why don't we see more athletes come out, come out as? I mean, why don't we see more of them come out and do that? Why don't we see more athletes, professional athletes, come out and make and, and make you know and make the war on make the war on gun violence. Their number one social justice cause. Their number one social justice, social justice issue. Why don't we have more uh, more athletes doing that? Why don't we have more athletes doing that? Making making stop the violence. You know. You know. St you know. Stop the violence. You know. You, you know. You know. And so you know. Why don't we have more of them coming out and making that their number one social justice issue, social justice cause? You know. Why don't we have it? Because that that's my number one social justice issue and social justice cause. That's when my number one. Why don't we have more professional athletes coming out and do, do and doing that? But I definitely think as a lot of people have said before, because you know certain people just don't want to focus on the real issues. They want to project those onto somebody else. You know, and go with what's I guess easier or whatever you would have put put it there. And or fits whatever agenda they want to push. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. But that's why I got to get back, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm not giving up on my city. I'm not giving up on, on my state. I love Nocatee. You know, I want to grow with everybody. And I want to see where we can, you know, fly high to, you know, truly, you know, you know, grow big. Fly high to see where we can truly grow big. So other than that, um, yeah, you know, and um, I don't know if there's anything else I can spit about the cure violence thing. But yeah, protect the city program. That's that's one of my initiatives. The other one is changing these streets campaign, and those those are two things I'm gonna start up when I, once I get back to, to uh, Jacksonville, and we're gonna see exactly how far they they uh, go. Cause like I said, I'm I've already made some 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 a couple songs, but I've written a lot more that I've yet to re yet yet to record and, and drop. And whether I drop them, um, you know, towards the end of this year or not. Uh, they they will be dropped very much eventually because I I do this in my sleep, you know. So hopefully you know we'll all hear them as time goes on. And I guess another thing I wanted to you know briefly touch on before, um, well yeah, briefly touch on while this video is still young, uh, I want people to understand. God bless all my middle schoolers out there. 
especially once I get back to the city, you know, supporting as many of you in your early youth development as I possibly can is, again, a big part of who I am and what I'm going to be doing. You know, uh, I'm planning a return to go back to Kernan Middle School, my original middle school, I'm a modder, you know, at least the one that I graduated from, actually. The first middle school I went to was UC, University Christian, etc. But you get the point, you know, go anywhere, go everywhere, you know, and see, again, where I can help out, where I can get in, get involved, and support all these kids in their sporting events, and and indeed also see, you know, what I can donate to them in, you know, in the form of, of uh, God for anything, you know, to better their, their, their in-school life and their out-of-school life through Christ, which strengthens us, because this is who I am, this is, you know, where I want to go, who I want to be, you know, and um, so on and so on, and I really do want kids to learn from me, but definitely also learn from yourself, and or learn from me so you can learn about yourself, you know, and take take strides, you know, make your own initiatives to do whatever else you want to do. I definitely want more kids to become activists, but I want you to become activists for the right causes and the right reasons to promote and create the right change in your community. And I definitely want kids to totally, especially in that age of middle school, although those ages of middle school, I think, you know, 12, 12 to 14, you know, I, I totally want you to do that. You know, at your young age, try to make some type of change in your community through whatever social justice cause initiative that you can come up with. Make it anything. Anything productive, anything constructive, your big brother NJ to the city has your back and he will absolutely support you with whatever your golfers doing. You know, whether it's hands on community work with you, whether it's shout outs and songs, shout outs on so uh, social media, you know, whether it's, you know, don't don't uh, nations with whatever I got to, you know, you know, you know, with whatever you uh, need. Again, hit your boy up and your boy will do what he can to indeed be your big brother, you know, and lend you that extra support, knowledge, wisdom and tutelage, because this is who I am. And so on and so on. And indeed, you know, I hope everybody agrees with that, you know, activist thing with these with these kids from 12 to 14 years old, middle school ages. You def we definitely need more, if you want to ask me. We need more um more kid activists. We need more. If you were the person to ask me, you know. But also and, and that's also a, a big part of where it goes with the parents. Know how to train your kids. Um, to be activists rather than just going out there spewing nonsense. And what that means is kids, you know, you're not going to get everything right the first time, maybe not even the second time or the third time. But the point is, again, parents do the research with your child on what their causes are and and, and do the the um, and draw up the outline plans on how to um, bring their initiatives to life, you know, etc. You know, that's what it is. You know, you know, to create funds, create programs, create, you know, whatever, you know, it is that you need. Parents, I'm telling you, parents have got to get more involved in their kids, particularly from that age, of those ages of 12 to 14. Particularly those ages of 12 to 14, parents, you got to start getting more involved in your kids' youth development if you ever really want to grow successful and prosperous kids. You can't just keep on sticking them in front of a TV, giving them iPads and all this other tech to avoid raising your kids. Which is also one of the top reasons why I think a lot of parents just had kids just to say they had kids, which is wrong. And that's why we have so many kids, practically, like they say, raising themselves because their parents don't do anything but just, you know, cook them food, give them this, give them that. Never say no to them, yada, yada, yada. Parents, step up and be a parent. Parents, step up and take time with your children today to teach them essential skills that they're going to need for real world, real life, real time, you know, um, so on, you know, you know, activities and such. Parents, step up and truly, you know, spend that quality time to talk to your child about their mental health and what you can do to better understand them in the workshops that y'all can take together to improve your your relationship. Because I'm telling you, it's not just the fact that it starts at home. It's more of the fact being that once you connect the congruency or connect the dots to 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 to, to once you connect to connect uh, connect the dots to create more con congruency. I promise to God, you know, your parenting life is going to be a lot more fluent. And it's going to be a lot more fun. And if you want a fluent and fun parenting life, you have to get better at your parenting skills. And a lot of parents don't care about that, which one type of a lot of parents, you know, seem to, you know, or a lot of parents, I guess vice versa, parents and kids end up growing up to hate each other because of things like that. Because you're not sharpening your skills 
at how to talk to your kid, how to respond to your kid, how to help your your kid, vice versa. The kid's not growing in their skills, how to respect you, how to respect the adults, how to respect, respect authority, to know what's what's right from from wrong, you know, and how to truly be generous and give back and and you know and and, and be honorable and how to honor, you know, you know, you know, their their parents, let alone how to get, you know, honor other authority. Etc. I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm trying to say, even though I'm definitely stuttering while I'm trying to say it. But I, but again, as long as you get the point, that's definitely what mostly matters here. Oh, that's literally what mostly matters here. You know, and that's what I mean, man. I, I, I look forward to having kids of my own one day. I really, I'm, I'm 22 years old. I look so forward to having kids of my own one day. I really, really do. Um, you know, I really, really do. But the problem with that is, is that, you know, I feel the calling tells me to keep doing what I'm doing with adopting these kids, adopting these middle schoolers and these high schoolers, really any kid in general of any age group, any, you know, so on, so on, you know, any age group, any grade. I, I feel the call on to keep doing what I'm doing as a big brother first, you know, of adopting all these kids into my family as, you know, whatever grade, whatever age. I, I feel like that that's more my calling now, and I'll probably ease into being a parent. Somewhere in my, if not mid-20s, late 20s, early 30s, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll ease into it eventually, but I feel like the calling tells me just keep doing what you're doing for now, Nate, with adopting all these kids you know into your in, in, into your life into your family and then you know eventually you know you know that's a god will god will um eventually it's like god will god will bless you with that divine calling eventually of you know when to be a you, you know when the time is right to, right for you to become an, an official full-time parent you know or something like that i'm pretty sure i phrased it right but or I'm pretty sure you get the gyps of what I'm saying, even if I did not phrase it the, the best way I know I could phrase it in my mind. I know you understood You probably understood it the way I phrased it, but I still know in my mind, I'm like, I know I still could have phrased that a tad bit, a tad, tad bit saucier to make that meat a tad bit more juicier. <laughs> I'm a rapper, warplay lyricist, so get used to it. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I just feel the calling to say, for now, Nate, you know, just keep doing what you're doing, adopting these kids. In, in, into your life as your little brothers and little sisters. Just keep doing that. Keep being their middle school mentor. Keep being their high school hype man. Just keep doing what you're doing as a big brother to the youth. Keep doing what you're doing with with that, and eventually your time being a full-time parent will come because, you, like you said before, you don't need to force yourself into something that you think you're ready for when you're not really ready for it, and then, you know, and then it ruins your love for, 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 for kids or for family or for community, and you get the point. You know, you get the point. At least I hope you do. I know I'm trying to, you know, explain it the most best way that I possibly can. Okay, and also with that being said, you know, um, yeah. And that's also a big thing of what I want to you know, alliterate to all you kids out there who might watch this video from any school that you're in, whether state of Florida or other places, you know. I'm coming to all these different schools to do exactly that. I'm coming to all these these different schools to bring a new level of school spirit to your school, if not just revive the dead school spirit that you already have. You know, I'm you know I'm, I'm coming to your school so I can adopt kids. You know, I, I I'm coming to your school so I can mentor kids. I'm coming to your school so I can mentor slash support you in life, school, and sports. I'm coming to your school so I can meet fa meet your uh, families and see where we can, again, learn, build, and grow together to bring out the best, you know, in our community, you know, and so on. You get the point. I'm, I'm coming to your schools to do all the God first right things, all the God first right orders, and see what we can get, you know, um, breaking down borders, dare I say, just, 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 just to make a rhyme there. Um, and, and, and so on, you know, and, and I hope everybody, like I said, I hope everybody, you know, God first, you know, gets on this movement one way or another, champions it, you know, encourages it in whatever God first way you, you, you can, because this movement is, like, this, is a, this, this is a part of some of the things that I'm telling you. Grassroots, hard work will get you to heaven. If you put your faith in the right things, God will show you the way to the path of glory, of re redemption from temptation and you know, and and you know, in your community slash support system, Canada will shower you with a lot of love because of it, etc. If any of that makes sense. Um, so I don't know if I have anything else to put in this video. If I do, I'll put in another video. Your boy, the man, NJ to the city, y'all. God bless.